Hey guys, it's Dan Gage back to talk more about bending. It's been a few years since my original bending video and the questions keep coming. But first point I want to make to you guys is there's a ton of bending resources out there, both free and for money. So for free stuff on YouTube, you know, always check out Adam Gussow, John Gindick, Ronnie Shellist, David Barrett, and, and then go further and look at, and Jason Ritchie, go into material that they may have for sale. Um, John Gindick's Rock and Blues Harmonica, Country and Blues Harmonica for the Musically Hopeless, David Barrett's Harmonica Masterclass Series, Adam Gussow's uh, Harmonica Forum and Lesson Series, all these things. Go and seek out this information and it, you'll find 10 different ways to teach about bending and it will help. And, and watch my original video about bending even though my shirt's kind of funny and my hair's kind of bad. But um, let's, I wanna talk about bending in different keys. So like my, my recent video that I just made talking about beginner stuff in seven most common keys, I, I thought it would be a good idea to maybe talk about some bending in um, seven of the more common key, harmonica keys. So I started off in C, another, oh, Another point is that you guys ask me how come you can't sound bluesy and, and I think bending is a big part of that. So go back to fundamentals, clear clean single notes, and then learning the basics of bending before you can really then wail on the bends and that builds the tension in the music that you're looking for. So we did some C on the original video so we're going to forget C for now and go straight to an A harmonica. And what you're going to notice as you change keys is that just like the natural notes sound different or feel they sound different and feel different the bend notes are going to sound and feel different too and it's important that you you understand and train yourself for the differences between them so a lower key harmonicas g and a and and to some extent b flat are going to be a little are going to take a little more air to to execute the bend and to play the natural notes right so uh, we start with an A harp, and the bends, the basic bends sound something like this. We're only going to do, we're not going to do all the half steps. We're just going to do sort of basic bends for you guys who are looking for it, just to see if you're if you're getting there. So hole one draw on an A harmonica. <laughs> Two, we're going to go down a full whole step. We're not going to stop at the half step bend. Three, we're going to go all the way down to the step and a half. Hear how different it is? Okay, um, four, we're going to just, it's only a half step and it's awesome, so we're going to wail on it a little bit so you can hear how it sounds. Five, there's not a half step bend. You can just kind of make a semitone, so we're not going to, or a quarter tone. We're going to go straight to six draw. Okay, let's go on to a D harp. Now, you'll notice that the higher pitch harps take a little less pressure, a little easier to bend, but they take a little more subtlety. Because you're not using as much air, you kind of have to dial it back so that you don't end up, you know, sounding, sounding bad. So, so dial it down, relax a little bit on the higher pitched harps, D, E, and F, okay? Um, one draw, bent. Two draw bent whole step. Three draw, we're gonna go all a step and a half again. Four draw, half step. Six draw, half step. Okay, let's do a G harp. Got them all sitting right here. G harp is going to be the lowest. It's, some people struggle with the one one draw bend. Uh, I know Adam Gussaw has a bending video where he talks about mouth position and the one draw on a G harp. So go ahead and check that out. I'm not going to labor the point. I just want you to hear what it sounds like. So one draw. That's a hard bend to get, guys, because it's, it takes more volume and more control of your air. Two draw, bend a whole step. Three draw. Probably better to do this the whole step, but I'm taking it all the way down to a step and a half. 
Four draw, half step. Six draw. Okay, let's see B flat. B flat. Okay, we're doing all seven keys that are most commonly uh, purchased and used. If you guys have an F sharp or something, come on, seven's pretty good, right? One draw bent uh, half step on a B flat harp. Two draw going down a whole step, B flat harp. Three draw, step and a half. Four draw, half step. Six draw, half step. Okay, um, let's do E and F. See if we can get all seven of them in here. Uh, F harp. Again, this is the highest pitched natural harmonica. They make you know lower and higher ones, but of the original 12, G's the lowest, F's the highest. So this is going to take the most finesse, the most subtlety, um, less air to play the notes and to bend the notes, guys. So relax, chill out, and you'll find it pretty easy to bend them, though. Two drop. Three. And it's going to be harder or more difficult to hit the, the notes in between, I think, on the higher pitch harp. So it's going to take practice, guys, to really get these bends down. Four draw uh, on an F harp. Six draw on an F harp. Ooh, it's clogged up a little bit. Six draw on an F harp. Okay, maybe I got a bad harp blowing out this harp. See what I mean about being subtle and being difficult? You have to get it in there. Okay. Um, e harp. Same thing, guys. One draw. Two draw. Three draw. Four draw. And uh, six draw. It's very subtle. It's small, that bend, okay? So there's all seven harmonicas. There's the holes one through six draw bends totally simplified for time but they're all there the the half step and whole step on hole two the half step whole step step and half on hole three um half step hole one hole four and hole six and this is what gives you guys that bluesy wailing sound so you can't get bends without having nice clear clean single notes you can't get bends without having good control of your airflow and what's going on in your mouth. So relax, breathe, feel it going through, try syllables, try, um, you know, there, it's all talked about in the other videos, but try whatever, whatever, you know, as many instructions as, as you can do. Give it a lot of time, a lot of practice. This doesn't come in a couple of days. Okay, we talked about that in a, the, a video I just made. Three days is not enough, guys. It can take weeks, months, sometimes years, depending on how much effort you put into it. But you'll get that nice wailing sound on it. So um, let's do the B flat harmonica, and we'll play a couple bends and call this one good. So extra bending. Please check out all of the pros. Really, you guys, free lessons are good, but you can really take yourself to the next level with some of these books or CDs or lesson series or, or camps or things like that. So <clears throat> there's my pitch and uh, here's my B flat harp. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Keep writing, and uh, I'll see you later.